hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today we're going to be doing this awesome Minecraft 1.16 Nether Update Starter House. And it's so cool. It has all some old blocks that we're used to. Plus we're adding some of the new blocks that we have in the Nether Update like that warped stem block. Oh, the strip kind. It looks so good. Inspired by my friend on Instagram, Random Builder. Go ahead and check him out. I'm going to put a link in the description. He made something really, really cool similar with the same block palette and i was so inspired i had to try it out for myself so go ahead and check them out but for right now let's get this started we're going to build this thing right now block for block let's go all right and here we go with the block palette so we're going to be going with some stripped spruce logs some spruce stairs slabs trap doors the new warped warp block but the stripped kind also we're bringing in some dark oak for the roof we're going to bring in some stairs some slabs some trap doors some fences and fence gates also some stripped birch the best birch we're bringing some birch planks these stairs as well some cobble some stone and a couple things along the way and here's the dimensions. So count out the blocks. They're all laid out in wool. We're gonna get this started right now. Just find yourself a nice spot and let's get this started. All right, now let's get it started right here on this corner. We're gonna be going up with our strip spruce log right here. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's give it a space of three, up by seven. Space of three again, up by seven. Turn this corner. Let's give it a space of two, up by seven here. Space of two, up by seven. Space of three, up by seven and another space of three up by seven here. Mirroring that side, space of two, and then up by seven. Now, next up, let's go right in front of these logs right here. We're gonna go up one and two, one and two. Let's go up by two in front of every single log that we just placed going all the way around, even here, here, and also right there. Then we're gonna be putting stairs on top of every single log that we just placed and let's just wrap this all the way around all right now let's line up this foundation i'm gonna bring in a cobble and stone mix for right now let's just do cobble let's go three and three three here three up we're gonna cover this part up two and two two and two here three and three on this side three and three here Let's cover up these two and two and two and two there. And you can come back and just give a little bit of texturing just to make it look a little more unique all the way around. Now that the cobble foundation is in place, let's start working out some details here. So let's go ahead and put some upside down stairs right next to both of these pillars. Upside down stairs here, trap door in the center, and then trap doors on the sides like so. Then we're gonna do it over here as well. We're gonna put some upside down stairs, one on each side here, and then we're gonna drop some trap doors on this side right here. This one, let's leave this open. We're gonna put a big old fireplace going up on that section, so don't put anything there. And then over here, repeat what we did in the front, upside down stairs on both sides. Then we're gonna be putting our trap doors on those little gaps going down like so. Over here, we're just gonna put the upside down stairs. You don't need to put the trap doors because you're not gonna see that part, so that's fine. Now, next up, let's lift up our stripped warp blocks and just go up one, two, three, and four, up by four here, up by four right there. Get rid of those two blocks and we have a nice window. Just make sure it's the one that's completely full on all sides and you don't have the little cutaway so you don't see that weird line when we put the window. Over here, we're gonna do the same thing, so let's lift all of these up. Cover that, we're doing that perfectly. Over here as well, let's take all of this up, up by four on all of them. I'm gonna put a small window here and then just leave this part for now. If anything, you can just lift the cobble just up until this line, just so you can have an idea. Then let's go ahead and come on this side. We're gonna do the same thing we did over here. So up by four on all of these, remove these two. Up by four on all of these, and then also remove these two. On this side, we're gonna do the same thing we did on that small section, remove those two. And then up here, we're gonna go up, up here, and then remove these one, two, and three. So we're gonna have our door and then you just put a little upside down stair right there at that point. Then next up, let's do some cross beams. So we're gonna cross beam right down on the top here, just from beam to beam, covering this whole top section up, just like so. Then let's go ahead and put a little cross beam right here in the center. Let's come on the inside here and do a cross beam right here on this end. And then for this bottom, we're just gonna go ahead and bring in our birch planks and let's cover up this whole floor in birch. If you wanted to give it a little bit of texturing too, you can come in here and just put some of these strips just randomly scattered in here, just like so. And it makes it look a little bit cooler. All right, now next bit of detail, let's grab some trap doors. I'm gonna put these trap doors on top of every single one of these stairs that we have all the way around, just like so. And then in between right here, we're gonna be putting our signs, some spruce signs, just for added detail. And we're gonna put these on 
top of every single trap door we just placed. Then next step after that, we're gonna put trap doors above every single sign we just placed all the way around. Now from here, we're gonna be putting upside down stairs in those gaps right where the trap doors we just placed going all the way around just like so. Then next step, let's put some slabs, one on each side of these stairs and then in the gaps we're putting those trap doors. On this side, we're going to be going with a slab on every corner and a trap door in those other gaps. Over here, we're going to repeat what we did in the front, slabs in ne well, next to every one of those stairs, and then the trap doors in those gaps. And over here, we're going to repeat it, slabs in the corners and trap doors in these gaps as well. Now from here, we're going to start lifting up these logs again. Let's go up another one, two, three, four, and five, space of three, right on this log, up by five as well. Let's go down this way, one and two, lift this log up, another five, one and two, another five, and just pretty much go wherever these logs are and take it up by five. And then over here, we're also gonna lift up one, two, three, four, and five. Let's bring in our warped block again, and let's go up one, two, three, and four, up by four here, up by four right there, get rid of those two. We're gonna put a nice window over here. Let's go up one, two, three, and four, up by four, another window here. Let's bring in the cobble, just take it up also just to match right here, lined up with the spruce one more time, and we're gonna continue that all the way up. Here, we're gonna go up by four again, four and four, window right here, and then here we're gonna go up, Let's cover all of this up. Let's actually cover this part. Let's take this all the way up, but here we're gonna go one, two, and three, put an upside down stair right here, and we're gonna have a way out to this balcony. Then over here, we're gonna do our cross beams. Let's cross beam right down this side, over here, this end, and also right here on this side. Next, we're gonna work out our balcony over here on this corner. Let's go up one, two, and three. Here, we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four. Here, we're gonna go up one, two, and three, just like so. Then let's go ahead and work out a flooring for up here. So I'm gonna be doing a mix of two different things. We're gonna be missing slabs and trap doors. Now, right here on this line, let's just go down with our slabs. So we're gonna do slab right here, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. Then over here, we're gonna do trap doors. So one, two, and three. Let's go three right here on this side. And we're also gonna do three over here on this side. I'm gonna repeat this over here as well. So one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and then trap doors in the gaps. Now, since we're in here already, really quick, let's just bring down this beam as well to match, and let's go ahead and cover up this side of the wall to have a nice room divider from this side to that side. Also, we're gonna bring in some slabs and put it right down on this end, so one and two. All right, now next bit of detail, we're gonna bring some dark oak fences. Let's go one and two, and a gate in the middle. Here, we're gonna go two, two, and repeat this one with one and one on each side and a gate in the middle. Then for added detail, let's grab these stairs. I'm gonna put stairs on top of every stair we placed upside down. So all the way around, these stairs are gonna go facing downwards, going all the way around until we catch every single stair that we have an upside down placed, just like that. Then we're gonna do the same style we did over here. Let's bring trap doors, and let's also lift these trap doors above every single one of these stairs that we just placed. After that, we're also gonna be doing the same things. Let's go ahead and put some signs on the top, just like so, wrapped all the way around, except for we're not gonna put one on this one and we're not gonna put one on this side, but we are gonna put one right here in the center bit, just like so. Next bit, let's start bringing some more trap doors. So I'm gonna go with trap doors above these signs, going all the way around from this end, and we're gonna stop right here. All right, now from here, we're gonna go ahead and put two upside down stairs, one above that trap door and one above this one. Then we're gonna work out a roof. So really super simple, a, a stair goes here and we're going with a simple step roof pattern going up to the top. Once we get to the center, upside down on top, slab on top of that and just come right back down just like so. Then we're gonna put one more right here. Let's bring this stair and let's take it all the way down and we're gonna overhang it right here on this side and then continue with an upside down stair here, one on this side, stair facing down, and just bring your step pattern super simple, back up, mirroring what we did in the front, right here, upside down stair, and a slab on top. Then here we're bringing our dark oak, and let's take this all the way down, except for the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and put a spruce there. Let's go one, two, three, spruce on this one, and another one, two, and three. Take this all the way down, just like so. Then we're gonna keep this going straight down this way. So bring this one, two, and three, spruce in the middle, one, two, and three, three here, three here, spruce in the middle, and then let's do another spruce right in the middle here, one, two, three, another three, and then over here, we're gonna go down with slabs. So let's put a um, spruce slab underneath, one on the outside, one underneath, outside, underneath, one on the outside, underneath, and then on the outside, just like so. We're gonna repeat it over here. So let's go with a slab under, 
one next to it, underneath, in front, underneath, in front, underneath, and then in front, and we're gonna stop right here. Now, this one we're gonna go up gradually. So let's go up with a double. Let's go up with a double. Double again, double again above that, another double, another double, and a double above that as well. Look at that, it's cool. Then, next up, they put, uh, let's put a dark oak trap door right there so we can cover up that exposed log right there. Let's put another one on this side. Let's bring our dark oak all the way down from here, turn it, and it connects to that. This one's gonna go also all the way around, just like so, and this connects to that. Same thing over here, so this goes all the way around, all the way around right here, and then this goes all the way back, connecting just like so, and our roof is done. Now it's time for the details. Let's grab some barrels, and I'm gonna go ahead and line up this top part right here in barrels. Let's give a nice little texture change there. Also gonna be putting a slab here, a slab here, and a trap door in the center. Then we're also gonna be adding some details to this section. So we're gonna add this awesome new flower box that I came up with, which is gonna be our warped nylon block. Plop that down, surround this in some of our dark oak trap doors, and over here we can add some of the new 116 uh, blocks like the warped fungus, and we can put that right in the front, just like that. That is cool. For glass, you can pretty much go with any glass. You can go with colored, you can go with regular. I'm gonna go with the plain clear one. I'm gonna put these in the back. Then I'm gonna grab a fence gate, put that right in the front, right in front of the top glass. Then we're gonna grab our campfire block and let's extinguish that and we have ourselves a nice little overhang bit, which is pretty cool. And you know what? We're gonna do this on all of these down below. And it should look just like this. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, let's actually remove this one. I wanna put a little hanging light here. So let's take this beam out, another one, two, and three. Then I'm gonna grab some of the polished basalt and it kind of looks like a wrapped up chain. If I bring this down now with the chain, one, two, and three, then bring a trap door, go ahead and put that in front. Kind of looks like a chain is wrapping around that log. I'm gonna drop a soul fire lantern right there. It's a really cool design, I like that. Uh, then I'm gonna be bringing in a little bit more trap door and just wrap it around here to give it like a little bit more of a support around there, just like so. Then I'm also gonna repeat these window designs on the other side. And there it is repeated on this side. Now let's jump back over here on this side and let's finish this fireplace. We're actually gonna remove these right here because we're gonna take this cobble and a regular stone mixture all the way to the top. Once we get up here, we're gonna knock these down. Let's make a little two by two. Uh, I'm gonna take it at least two higher from this line. So this is where the slab is at. If you take it all the way down, that's one higher. Let's go in one more right here. So it could be as high as you want it, but I think this is a good height, at least two. Well, 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 two above that slab right there. Now up here, I'm gonna use the sole campfire right there, and for trap doors, you can use anything. I'm gonna go with spruce, and I'm just gonna surround this top. Also, we're gonna do a little bit of texturing down below with adding just a little bit of stone as well. And it should look like this. Now to break it up a little bit, I love adding just some stairs on the inside, giving you a little bit of a twist in there, make it look pretty cool, and go all the way down, maybe adding a few in just certain spots. I think that would look pretty nice, just like that. All right, now jumping in the front here, let's finish off this front porch. For this one, we're gonna bring in our strip to Again, let's put one on this corner here. Give it a one, two, three space. And over here, let's go up one, two, and three. Let's give it a two spacer here. One, two, three. Another two spacer and one, two, and three. Let's put one over here on this side as well. Pop one in front of every log we just placed. Then on top of these, let's put some slabs wrapped around like so. Then let's do some cross beams on the second level right here and on this side. Let's put some upside down stairs on each bottom end, just like so. And then let's jump to the front and let's add some stairs. So right here we're going with birch stairs, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Repeat it on this side, so three here, and three right here. And then in the middle, we can just go ahead and cover the rest up in birch. And then we can also give it a little bit of texturing just like that. Over here, just a couple fences, a couple more, and then slabs on top of those exposed log pieces. Over here, I just wanna get rid of this uh, stone, so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace that with the warped. Then we're pretty much done right there. Now let's jump back over here on this side so you guys can get some inspiration of what to put on the inside of the house once you have it all built up. So really super simple. Over here we have all some awesome stuff. We have some honeycomb blocks. We have the warped root right here inside the flower pot. We actually have a little composter with a bush on top, a hanging light right here with the soul lantern, some paintings. Over here we have our kitchen corner. It has everything you need in order to get started out. You have our furnaces, blast furnaces, smokers, crafting benches, barrels, a loom, even a little cauldron there, cake, little cup, 
carpet here on the bottom, a ladder on the side here that takes you up to the bedroom. Up here, you have uh, a bed. We have a nice little bed frame with extra storage. These are some honeycomb blocks. That looks like a really nice bed frame. Uh, extra storage, and chest, and over here, your full netherite armor awaits you. There it is. <laughs> also some uh, little pot of plant over here. And uh, wait, that needs, a, that needs a plant. And there it is. But out uh, here in the balcony, just a small little seat in the corner, some soul fire lanterns to light your way. And we are done. What do you guys think? This is so much fun to make. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these awesome some 116 builds using the new blocks now this is pretty much mixing some new with old i love it it brings a whole new level of awesomeness to minecraft especially these bright vibrant blocks we have here with the the warp stem it's so cool but let me know what you guys think i'm out of here for now thank you all so much for watching let me know what you would like to see next as a tutorial and i will be so happy to do it but i'm out thank you all so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed i'll catch you guys on the next minecraft video goodbye